Hey folks, Nathan here. We're doing a quick uh, PlayStation VR look here at Detached. Probably a very short first session as I'm getting used to the game. Uh, this is a game that actually has uh, a pretty hefty warning on it about uh, some of the things that you will experience and how if you are prone to motion sickness, you may be screwed. Uh, that's actually why I was kind of up in the air on whether or not to try this game out. It looked interesting, but at the same time, that sometimes happens. I remember my first experience playing Riggs Mechanized Combat League within a day or so of purchasing the system uh, and feeling extremely sick uh, shortly thereafter, being able to only play through like part of the tutorial. So we're going to check out Detached here. Uh, I was lucky that the, um, the developers or the creative team's uh, PR department uh, decided to provide a review copy code, so I was able to actually download it uh, so I could actually check it out uh, and provide some thoughts on it, uh, whereas I was kind of on the fence about it before. So we shall see. Um, nothing too insane so far. There is a single player and a uh, multiplayer option. Let's try the tutorial. Let's just try that tutorial. Let's not, you know, vomit. Yeah. The idea is it's supposed to be the closest thing to really kind of to feeling like an astronaut. Session. Whoa. Helmet calibration. Use your head to aim at objects. So that's my big old helmet. Interesting. Calibration complete. Okay. Initiating startup sequence. Range finder active. Fuel tank connected. Oxygen tank connected. Fuel. Land storage active. Oxygen. Thrusters activated. Okay. Up, down, throttle. Horizontal strafe. Vertical strafe. Okay. Test thrusters input. Use movement brake to stop. Use rotation to point in any direction. Oh yeah, this is where I'd be like. Hurrah. Test rotation input. They do at least they do have some serious. Uh, you may be noticing there's some definite. Uh, Follow the comfort and setting fly through checkpoints. Things. It's the roll that would get me. Woo! I can already tell. You. I don't want to rush you, but uh, we need to hurry if you want to leave for this gold mine in this century. Anyway, you know what to do. I can trust you, right? You are an engineer, aren't you? Aren't you? Woo. I don't know. It's almost doing the filtering too much. I may have to change a setting somewhere. Whoa, stop! Okay, yeah, it is. I mean, you have to actually manually stop yourself, as it was saying a second ago. Otherwise, it's like you're in zero-G. You're just going to keep going and going and going. Alright. Up! Up! And away! Yes, I'm not using the roll at all. I guess that's telling me where I'm heading to is what that symbol is up there. Like if I don't change what I'm doing. Yeah, because like even if I turn like that, my momentum is still carrying me that way. Proceed to the airlock. Get in range to interact with objects. Use interaction. EVA training session complete. 
Okay. Well, it wasn't so bad. As long as I don't use the roll. Everything I've seen is it's it's like the closest thing to an astronaut simulator that you will ever see. Like, all right, sure. We can prove whether or not, as an astronaut, I would survive. Probably not. Welcome to EVA training session. What? Helmet. I just did that. So continue sent me back to the tutorial for some reason. Probably because I had tutorial turned on, but I went to it manually. That may be what's happening here. Okay, yeah, your difficulty. Um, simplified flight control method is arcade. A more complex flight control method is astronaut. Simulation is for realistic physics and, alt and uh, accelerations. Tutorial on or off. I just had it on, so I'll turn it off. Yes. Things did not happen according to plan. Motion comic, kind of cool. Big screen theatrical mode, not full VR in this case. Again, out here, nothing ever does. Nothing ever does. Intro Studios presents. Intro Studios presents. It was supposed to be a simple salvage operation. Okay, last one locked and loaded. Great. Let's get out of here. An easy score, if you have the right ship. I'll hit you right with the cargo. Okay, starting the countdown. But in space, nothing is ever simple. And no one can hear you scream. The sensors are acting up. It seems like the hub just attached. Yeah, give me a sec, I'll check it out. Ah, uh, this is strange. I thought I locked this. Okay. We just saw you do right it! Back. 19, 18, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, What one. the? That is a motion comic of an astronaut looking dude flipping you off. Not what I expected. Detached. If you assume that that is an actual letter as it looks instead of an A, that would be the Cyrillic L. So, detached. Or detached. Lolding. Like LOL ding. Be like laughing out loud. Ding. Ha 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 ding! Ha ding! I mean, I like the font. I just think, think it's a little funny. I think! That's right, the southern coming through in the Atlanta area here. But think! Okay. Status update. Communication relay. Communication offline. Well, that Reactor sucks. chamber. Power offline. Well, that sucks. Power relay. Transmitters Let me offline. Guess. Yep. Power inverter. Inverter offline. Well, damn! Emergency bay. Is anything working? Launcher offline. I'm reminded of space balls. Fuck! Even in the future, nothing works. And I have an amount of oxygen and fuel here. Okay, so, um, I press that button. Okay. Thrusters activated. Use airlock to exit the hub. Whoa! Wrong button! I like the idea of the fuel management here, right? Because I'm, like, as I boost forward, I don't have to continue holding forward to continue forward. If I do, I'm using up my fuel. Whereas, I can just get the momentum going and then let go and just free float over there. That's pretty cool. 
And as much as this might annoy some people to be sitting here like, Wait a second, why do I have this stupid contraption around me, man? Um, remember, one of the things they talk about from a scientific standpoint with the way that simulation sickness works, um, sim sickness is the opposite of motion sickness. Motion sickness is essentially this idea that you are feeling motion, but your mind isn't perceiving it. So like you're reading a book that is stationary in a car that's moving. Now you are motion sick. Um, sim sickness is the opposite where your body's not perceiving the motion, but your eyes and your senses in that sense, your visual sense, is. Um, so you're like, whoa, why aren't I feeling this motion? Hence the sim sickness. Um, and one of the things that often helps sim sickness is to have something in front of you, something that is stationary, when you are moving around in this broader environment. So that's basically what this is. Aside from giving you your fuel and your oxygen and so forth, this, for those who get simulation sickness, just having this in front of you will assist you in fighting off some of that simulation sickness, as opposed to if you were just like this and you couldn't see anything. Like, I'm sticking my head basically out of where the helmet is, right? If you're moving this way, you're going to feel more sim sick than if you're moving this way with the thing in front of you. Um, kind of like if you're playing Wipeout HD in VR mode, the fact that the cockpit is there helps. Same thing with, like, um, uh, EVE Valkyrie or Battlezone. Um, so I do like that. Um, it does sit a little high. Um, I just reset it again, but it sits like uh, like this part here feels like it's at about the level of like your chin or slightly below. So it's like um, if you just move your head the slightest bit downward, the fuel and oxygen um, are kind of right at your cheek level. So um, pretty good choice there, I think. Anyway, whoa! Right, and so in this case, I don't have to actually aim. All right, do aim. Sorry, excuse me. Oh shit! Uh oh, up, 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 stop, up. Um. Not enough nands. Find a nand to power up airlock. A nand? The hell is a nand? Okay, I need to find a nand. I notice I've already rolled a little bit. Um, stop. I definitely feel like I'm going to be using my thrusters a lot to stop me. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Except there's like this little energy field kind of thing. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us, it penetrates us, it blocks me from the NAD. I mean the NAND. Yep, I thought so. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to those, maybe? Whoa! Wow. I am starting to feel it, I'll tell you that. Smack, 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 smack. There's a door. Another door. I almost feel like I need to close my eyes when I move sometimes. I mean, it really... They're not joking. You know, when it comes to the idea that this feels kind of like free fall, oh, it does. But at the same time, that is both its greatest strength and I would say its greatest weakness. Um, in the sense that um, if you get sim sick, then this will probably be something that will make you sim sick. But I would argue, again... Um, that the fact that they actually tell you this ahead of time, the fact that that warning is on it at all, is... It, it shows that they are self-aware of what could be an issue. And they're not trying to BS anybody, right? They're not trying to say, Yeah, play it! You'll be fine! Our game doesn't make anybody's simulation sick! Surely not! Okay, can't go this way either. Um, I mean, they flat out tell you in the warnings when you try to purchase the game in the first place. You will experience f feelings of, like, free fall and dramatic shocks and stuff like that. This is not for the faint of heart. Alright, so I gotta get in there. Again, it's the rotation that gets me. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I can go around. Derp. I thought I had to, like, find some place that had, like, a button that would turn that off. No, I can just go around. derp a derp This is, by the way, controlled. I guess it, I would think it would go without saying, but apparently not. Um, this is controlled by a Dual Shock. This is not me playing this with Move controllers, which kind of makes sense. I mean, you might say, "Well, wait a second, that doesn't make any sense." Well, you don't see my hands, right? So, in theory, if I'm in some kind of space suit, I might be, you know, controlling it through a handheld control. I might be controlling it with something on my belt or on my wrist or whatever um, to control all these different, you know blast of my stuff. Oh, my oxygen is low, though. It's lowering. That apparently is the biggest challenge, I'm told, of the game. Really? Okay, I got it. I got the NAD. I got my NADs! And it's a neutral NAND! Spaceman's got NANDs! Ow! I got stuck on something. Yeah, like right now I'm not activating my thrusters at all. I'm using momentum, but then I can stop, turn to point where I need to go over oh, yeah. here, rotate with my friggin' eyes just about closed so I don't and then I'll fly towards this. And in essence, yeah, point where I'm going. Airlock activated. Ready to use. Thank you kindly. Bonk on the floor. Wait, no, stop! It does take a little getting used to the idea that you have to click down the left stick to stop, but I'm sure that after playing the game for a while, it'll be second nature. Like most control schemes, right? Please wait. Activate, please. Oh, wait. Derp! I'm pretty sure I just activated it the wrong direction. No, I want to go the other way. I just pressed the button to see what it would do. Kind of stinks to have to go back to a loading screen in between door activations while it loads, but at the same time, it also didn't take very long to load in the first place, um, initially when playing the game. And it is a brief respite from the three-dimensional environment, too, if you're getting sick, so... I like this. This is going to be one of these games that, like, kind of like Riggs, I'm going to be able to say, for what it's trying to do, it is extremely impressive. On the other hand, for those who get sim sick, it is a nightmare. But, I, I mean, they're doing, they seem to have done quite a bit to try to mitigate that. Although I'm not sure how you could do a free fall game that has no element of feeling ill. All right, so I'm gonna turn around. Every now and then I fall apart. Free fall apart. In space, no one can hear you say "wee." And stop. Stop. Force field disabled. Okay, so is it keeping in oxygen or something? Why is it? Speaking of oxygen. Oh, oxygen. No shit! Oh, I thought that was a door. Okay! Good. 
low oxygen. Aw, oh, shit. I'm not gonna find any oxygen out here. Where am I going? That is one of the things that I found, um... Um... That I, that I noticed in some of the reviews of the game, which is that, boy, does this game give you a sense of scale, but boy, is it easy to get lost, and Don't boy, is it, um... about my space sloth? Here's the plan. We need to access the escape pod in the emergency bay. A lot of times, it'll take you a while to have it tell you where to go, line. tell you what your next objective is. Hubs, that should power up the emergency bay. I'll try to get back to you as soon as... Damn! I'll get back to you when I'm finished with this maneuver. Right? Good luck, mate. Echo out. Okay. Uh. I'm running out of air, bro. What is that? It's a green thing. Oxygen! Yay! Schmack! And I'm like, okay, now what? Ah! Okay. Loading. Communication relay. Status update. Communication offline. You had one job! Oh, crap. Communication, that is. A boost module? New module acquired. Cool! I guess. Yeah, I actually, now, to be fair, it probably will feel less disorienting to play than to watch. At least that's been my experience. Like, I played the Persistence for hours and do not feel motion sick at all. And then I watch someone play Persistence for 10 minutes and I want to hurl. So it, it really does kind of depend on your toleration level. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. It's telling you caution, rotation, 90 degrees. Or 06, whatever. Cool. I like that. I mean, it's space. You're in zero G. Items do not or floors do not necessarily have to be oriented in the same way all the time. What is that? Oh, okay. So I just have to move my ass. I gotta haul ass. All right, that's cool. Reboot in progress. Go! Go, go, astronaut with motion sickness. Reboot complete. Go, go, astronaut with motion sickness. Okay. Probably don't need this yet, and it will probably be a waste. But, ha ha! has oxygen. Right, I'm assuming I'm trying to go up then, right? Uh, a Okay. I guess... Whoa, 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 I'm button. I'm assuming I can't fly through this, whatever that is. Yeah. Thunk! What does that say? Force outlet warning high force pull. Warning high velocity particle stream ahead. Right. I see that. Whoa! But it's not like I can. Can I fly into it? Oh, this doesn't have a force field. Let's see what this is gonna do to me.
Okay. Okay. I don't know what that just did, but okay. down there's some um, wait is that the is that what I already got yep that's the oxygen that I just got okay day all right so just wait a damn minute here then that's where I came in from I think that's where I came in from. So where the fuck am I going? I mean, it's almost gotta be that I'm going in here, right? It's the only thing that's left. Is gone sideways, boss. Literally. Status update. Communication relay. Communication online. Reactor chamber. Power offline. Power relay. Transmitters offline. Power inverter. Inverter offline. All right. I don't know where I'm going now. Just stop a second! I look around the room. But you notice there, every time I... T like, not when I turn my head, but when I actually move with the stick, it does that iris kind of thing. So it's... So the peripheral vision, which is a big part of simulation sickness, doesn't make you super sick. But what it also does is it makes it hard to move and explore your surroundings at the same time. You know, to determine what's next. the door if I press it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Open. Okie day. And now I need to activate this one presumably. Stop. Okay. Press load. I'm back in space. Still don't know what the hell I'm doing in space, but I'm back in space. In space, no one can hear you say, What the hell am I doing? Sorry, I'm trying to orient myself to figure out where the hell, hell I'm going. Yeah, I can see on my sensors that you fixed the communication relay. Wait. All right, rendezvous coordinates sent to the emergency bay. You owe me a... Ah, oh, damn, 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 I got pirates on my tail. Then go out. You got pirates on your tail? I don't see that anyways. Okay, so that's where I just came from. So maybe I'll try to go for this big old thing over here. 
Unless that's where I came out of in the first place. Shit, I bet you it is. I bet you that is where I came out of in the first place. Okay. Boy, a mini-map would certainly be helpful at this juncture. Or, you know, anything that would tell me where the hell I am and what my next goal is. Is that a door? Ooh, that was cool. Check that. Check out that lighting. Okay, so I'm just kind of chilling here. The asteroid or whatever is blocking my blocking the sunlight. Up, 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 up. Soon as the oh, I'm gonna bonk my head. Soon as the sunlight clears. Really nice lighting effect. Okay. Still don't know where the hell I'm going. Maybe I'll go over here? I'm trying to figure out where I am in relation to everything else. And I had no idea. I mean, there's something. Whatever this is. Is that a door? It's probably not a door. It's just a light on the side of the ship. I... Go out to the side. Look, it's a planet! Is that Jupiter? Or a Jupiter analog? some kind. Hmm. Still don't see a way in. Ah, but I do see like oxygen or whatever the hell this is. Stop! Over here! Go toward that. Yes, that. I think I may be able to go into something over there. I am told that this game's checkpoints kind of suck. All right, told. I have seen in reviews, there you go, that the checkpoints kind of suck. Because you wind up redoing a lot if you screw up. Don't know yet, because so far I've barely known what to do, let alone been able to screw up at doing so. So I guess ignorance has been useful in that regard. Yeah, let's see what this is over here. See if that's a door or something. Kind of looks like a double wide in space. I'm not actually feeling the effects nearly as much as I thought I would at this point. Probably because I'm not using the roll command much. Because that's usually whenever I start to get particularly sim sick. Um, you know, and I must say, you know, like I said, if you're. If sim sickness isn't an issue. Or at least there's only a minor issue. I mean, the feeling of free-floating. Like, you don't... It, it's interesting because, right, because in this type of situation, your body wouldn't actually feel much of the momentum or much of anything because of a lack of gravity. Right? So, in essence, your body shouldn't be feeling it. Sim sickness shouldn't be a thing. But, of course, you know that it is. Right? Potentially. I do like that whatever you're pointing at, it's going to tell you the distance from it. Not just distance to an objective, although it'd be really nice to be able to have some kind of marker for your friggin' objective. What is that? I don't know. I can turn that on. I don't know what the hell it does, but I can sure turn that on. Oh, it's like a booster, I guess. Like extra power. Yeah, I guess this is where I'm supposed to go, because wasn't it saying I needed a power relay? And... Sh 
stop and look this way rockets the hell I need rockets for rocket pack active rocket pack rocket man okay wait but does that mean that that's all I okay no 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 I say that that surely isn't all I was doing Oh, I've got to shoot that with rockets or something? Ooh. Nifty. I don't know what I was doing. Okay. I think I shot it more times than I needed to. Scanning environment. Power relay. Status update. Transmitters offline. That's that definitely would have helped to like have it tell me whenever I got that which button does anything because I just wasted one of them, I think, unless it's something that reach maybe it's something that recharges it looks like it refreshes. Um, but yeah, I fired two. Maybe I didn't need to fire two, but it's because I was just experimenting with the buttons to figure out which one actually did something. Okay. Power relay something something. Nope. Okay. I get that you're trying to keep me from feeling sick, and I truly appreciate that, but I need to know where the hell I'm going so every time I turn, it can't constantly give me the same thing. Okay, now that's going to need... A thingy, I'm assuming. Transmitter initialization. Oh, nope, I had one. All transmitters before initialization ends. Uh, what? I'm sorry. Do 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 what now? Ah, crap! I've got a time limit. Something to do with the time limit on it. Okay. At least it's telling me where to go this time. I can dig that. And I'm able to use my little boosty thing. Charging module. Stop, 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 stop! What the hell am I doing? Yeah, exactly. We've got objective markers for, like, a couple of objectives every great once in a while. And when you're trying to figure out where the hell to go to even start the next objective... Shit. Am I supposed to blow this thing up? I mean, it keeps doing that thingy here. I guess I'm supposed to blast it. I don't know why I would want to blast it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this objective because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I mean, because it kept switching it. Disrupted. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Boost module active. Oh, yeah, there's no way. I'm gonna have to go back to the other one. Okay, so apparently I have to blast each of them? What the actual... Okay, sure. Ours is not the reason why. Ours is but to do and get your ass kicked. I mean, at least now it's giving me this to tell me to go back over here. It's like you have to randomly find, well not randomly, you have to like accidentally <laughs> or through meticulous searching find what the next objective has anything to do with. And once you do, then yeah, you're good. But until you do, you're just kind of screwed in figuring out where you're trying to go and why. Stop. All right, let's do this the right way this time. Ready, go. Transmitter initialization. 
boot up all transmitters before initialization ends. And by boot up, they mean friggin' blast. Why did you just fire that many? I don't know. It's like pressing it once, I guess, launched all of them? it once and it launched them all. I don't understand how shooting shit is going to reactivate anything. It should break stuff, but okay. Next one. Next one is other side of this, I guess. Shit, it's way over there. Charging module. No! Go, go, go! Initialization complete. Status update. Did it work? Power relay. Transmitters online. Reactor chamber. Power offline. Power inverter. Inverter offline. Now what I will say though, is it makes me kind of wonder. Let me try this room. Power inverter, right there. So maybe, okay. So maybe my concern there is possibly ill-founded or at least partially ill-founded. Um, because I do have, like I said, most of those reviews have said, you know, finding the next objective is a pain in the ass. Okay. But, you know, it did seem like that objective just now just took me from one objective to the doorstep of the next. And the other ones kind of did the same thing. Not overly so, but close. So, like, if you just go for the next thing that you see, it can take you to the next objective. Maybe? Loading, loading, loading. Power inverter. Status update. Inverter offline. Whoa, 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 stop! Airlock over there of some kind. Hello, panel! Current connected. Transformer disconnected. Warning, discharge imminent. Uh, what? Five, four, I'm assuming three, I gotta get through there or something. Two, one. Whoa! Okay then. Now it's time to see what those ch how those checkpoints are. If I remember correctly, the way they described it is it's like the checkpoints are at the end of the last objective you completed, not when you find the beginning of the new objective, because it treats the completion of one objective as the beginning of going to the next. At least that's the way I've heard it described. So we'll see. Inverter. Status update. Inverter offline. No. It started me in the same location. Unless maybe it's just that if you don't make it to the start of the next location, it screws with you. Certainly doesn't seem as whacked out as it sounded. Because this should be the door right here. Yeah, this is... Whoa. Can I get through here? Yes, I can. Uh. I think. No, am I, am I banging into something? Let's try that again. Uh! Nope. There's some kind of invisible wall there. Or barely visible wall. 
Alright, I see no way up or down. Okie day. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna press the button and I'm gonna get the hell out of the way. Warning, discharge imminent. So the doctor Five, says sometimes. Four, Warning, discharge imminent. Three, two, one. Oh, that's all I had to do is just turn it on. I mean, whatever it was, I just got myself a uh trophy for it uh okay then um now what Brr! too much movement just now Leaving? It still says offline. I press the crazy button. Maybe I gotta do something outside? Like somewhere else on the thingy? Let's see if any new dialogue happens. Is it like blasting energy outside? It doesn't look like it is. And I'm assuming I can't go to that. I wonder if I could go back to that terminal and not get splattered. terminal I was just at. I'm trying to see if there's any other openings out here. I guess I could go ahead and grab some oxygen. My fuel's running out though. That didn't do me any good. So let's see if I can... Like if going to the panel in here does any good. Maybe it's just the of that energy that killed me. The fact that Power it was inverter. firing off for the first time. Status update. Inverter offline. What in the hell? What is that that I'm seeing? It's like swooshy energy bits. All right, so if I fly through this, am I gonna get myself smushed? Or is this, did this just smush the window? Yes, okay, so that just smushed the window somehow. Whoa, and there's a control over here. Tell you what kind of panel it is. It just constantly says panel, as if you couldn't see that for yourself. Open the blast doors. Open the blast doors. Which blast doors, Esse? I can't tell. Is this a blast door? Eh? Hey? Another panel. Aren't you gonna tell me it's a panel? Tell me it's a panel. Okay, it's a panel. Like I said, 
I mean, it could have just been a television. It could have been that somebody was watching their favorite TV show, which is green shit. Test chamber active. Warning, discharge imminent. Uh-oh. If I knew which direction it'd be blasting from... Oh, maybe I gotta get the hell over here. Five, four, three, two, one. Test complete. Oh. Okay. So did it just break another wall? Ooh, what's this? What's this? Stop, 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 stop. Over here, over here. No repair needed. Oh. Well, okay, thank you. No fuel either. Alright, so it did like a blasty type thing over here. As long as it's not a Chuck Wendig panel. What the hell? Okay, it just blasted. I thought the blast took out whatever was here. Right? Bonk! Nope. Alright. Nope. There's the blast doors. Okay, so... Says what now? Open the blast doors. But I can't go through here. I bonk my damn head on something. So obviously that is not what I was supposed to do. Okay, let's try this again. Stop! Bark! Test chamber active. Okay, Warning. so discharge imminent. Okay, so it's gonna fire. 13. It's given me so much time that it's like it wants me to do something else. Five, four, three, two, one. Test complete. And it just shot. Am I supposed to do it with the blast doors closed? That seems not to have given me any ability to go through still. Active. Warning. Maybe I'm supposed Discharge to imminent. shoot it with the blast doors closed and maybe the blast doors somehow break the seal or whatever that is? 13, 12, 11, 10, nothing down there. Five, whoa, whoa. Four, three, two, two one. one. Nope! Test complete. It's not doing me any good. I don't understand what's supposed to be happening. Okay, so I can't go through that way. There must be some other way. But it's giving me that whole, like, broken glass looking kind of thing. Of course, there's nothing in there. Okay, stop, stop, stop. That's my initial room that I was in. That's where I just went. Or tried to go. Okay. So maybe I need to leave again? And maybe there's another way to get around to that? Possibly? Because that's where at least I think I'm supposed to be trying to get to. But 
here's the repair station room I was just in, except I'm totally oriented differently now. Okay. There's the room with the repair station. I can go... I'm gonna run out of fuel. I can go this way. I honestly don't remember how I got in here. Low fuel. Whoa. I can fight against this, but not much. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of fuel before I figure out what the fuck ow, what the fuck I'm supposed to do. the room I was just in. And that just closes the blast doors, doesn't it? Yeah. All that is going to do is close the blast doors to the room that I can't get into. Well, I've got to be able to do something in here because apparently I can't get out the normal way because I can't fight that pressure. So it's got to be something to do with this room. The only way... Well, no, there's that. I said the only way in and out is... Wait. There's... See, I'm fucking disoriented. There's the damn screen. There was no way to go down. There's no way to go up. The only exit is this room that shoots you to the blast door thing that isn't doing squat for me. It says force field active. Maybe I need to try to get through before it fires? Test chamber active. Warning, discharge imminent. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go! Bitch, go! Nope, I'm still banged into the same place. And now it's going to fire and kill me because I can't figure out how the... Where the... F okay, kill me. One. Splat. It says force field active and then you press the button and it turns the force field off or something. What force field? Because it sure as hell isn't the one that I need to go through or at least that I think that I need to go through. Status update. Inverter offline. Okay, so I'm back here again. But that thing is blasting through. Okay. Maybe it's that one? through here but not hit the thingy, eh? Okay, and stop. Rotate. That's the blast doors. Well, the shield, I mean, the shield was already... I mean, if it's gonna fire and break open something, then that box should be what blasts it open, right? That shatters it? So as long as the box is there... Or do I need to, like, knock the box into position? Ow. 
I mean, like, it could be, assuming that's glass or something and not, like, a fucking force field. Come on. Okay, where's the control room? This is the control room over here. Might as well leave that oxygen until I need it. Alright, because right now, what does it say? Let's see. It says... Title, 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 desk, 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 desk. Uh... What? I think something's fucked up. Test chamber active. Warning, discharge imminent. Okay. And that test chamber was over here. And I want to watch to see if it smack. Where the fuck did the box go? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Test oh, complete. now it shattered? Why did it shatter that time? That don't make any sense. I mean, it confirms that something was effed up the last time. And that looks like that, so maybe I just didn't see the box? It was still floating out there somewhere? Whatever. So what I thought was the case was the case, I just somehow couldn't do it last time. Okay. Better than not. Oh shit, I need to go get that. I'm gonna go get that oxygen that was in here. And then I can go get the fuel. Oh, 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 shit. I wonder how it calculates your uh, fuel consumption. Like, if you're using more judicial, judicious movements and only changing when necessary. Like, if I pull it to a stop and then go, is it going to use more fuel or less fuel than if I was um, just steadily going and, you know, turning as I need to? Okay, here we go. That's good. All right. And stop. What is that? I got something! Oh yeah, I got something. It's a battery of some kind. Probably to make this thing work. Oh, it's a panel? Really? Transformer connected. Yep. Status update. <coughs> Power inverter. Inverter online. Transformer! Communication relay. Communication connected. Online. Reactor chamber. Power offline. Power relay. Transmitters online. Okay. So that's another objective that's done. Sweet. Okay. So next time I go out here, he should say something to me, presumably, right? Oh, no, no, no! No! Open! Yep, now I only have two more on that objective list. In theory, shouldn't I head for this? I mean... 
so far. Most of when I've needed to go somewhere, it's been kind of pointing me to the next objective, sort of. Unless I've already been to this one. Okay. What? Oh. Wait, 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 stop! I see a door. I thought maybe a broken door. Stop! Damn it! Locked. Well, on the plus side, I haven't actually seen a locked door yet, so this probably is something new. I can't see... Um, just... For the sake of argument, in case you can't see whenever you say something, I can only see, like, a certain limited number of characters. Otherwise, it just gives me the first part of what you say and then a big ellipsis. Like, it's not like it's reading it to me or anything, so... I only get a few words. You gotta speak in, like, smaller bursts than text messages in order for me to actually see everything that's being said. Because it's like a little gray box that appears kind of down here. Maybe there's a door on the other side. Beep, beep, beep. Gives me a beep, beep, beep. Oh, because there's a fuel canister right there. Ah, there's another door. Is it locked? Shit, that one's locked too. So am I not supposed to go into this? Gee, it'd be helpful if someone would actually have a freaking objective discussed, pinpointed, ever explained. <sighs> Maybe on the far end of this thing? Smack something. In space, no one can hear you say, What the fuck am I supposed to do? In space, no one can hear you groan with frustration. I guess I'm not supposed to go in this one yet, even though it's the one that's nearby. I'm gonna run out of fuel trying to figure out a way into this damn thing. any other doors. I just do not see a way in. That doesn't look like a door to me, but if it is a door, it's probably going to be locked. Nope, that's not a door. Shit, shit, shit! Stop! <laughs> Where the hell am I supposed to go next? Where's that fuel I just saw a second ago? Anything? 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 Nope. Nope, just go get the fuel.
All right, so I just came out of that thing over there. And apparently I can't get into this thing over here. So... Am I supposed to go to this thing over here, maybe? I don't see anything else out here. So, okay, we'll try this. Unless this winds up being the place that I was before I was over there. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Nope. I've already gotten that one. Or no, I have not gotten that one. My bad. Come on. So am I going to that one, maybe? I don't know what that one is. Except for the fact there's a big red door blocker thingy and I have no idea if I've been to the same one because they all kind of look similar enough to not be easily distinguishable okay well maybe this is one I gotta go to because apparently I gotta blast the door to get into it unless I had to blast to get out before I honestly don't remember Fudge nuts. Um. Uh. What? Alright, so maybe it's this one that I gotta go into somehow. Again, unless this is exactly where I just was, because I have no freaking idea. Because these things are damn near indistinguishable. Looking for a door. Up, oh, is that a door? Is that a door? Hello, is you a door? Reactor chamber. That was the next one it said, right? Reactor chamber offline or something. Or was the reactor what I just dealt with? No, that was power inverter or something, right? Power something. Here's hoping this is a new place. Loading. And it's totally... There we go. Reactor chamber. Status update. Power offline. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So I am in the right place now. I presume. I got a shield. Shield module active. Awesome. What does a shield module do? Ooh. It's a big old place you got here. Let's go to the one that seems to be open. And stop. Okay. here with a fuel for when I need it. Oh look a panel. Reactor activated. Reactor chamber breach. 
Okay. Reactor meltdown. Emergency cooling activated. Status update. Reactor chamber. Power online. Communication relay. Communication online. Power relay. Transmitters online. Emergency bay open. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm assuming if I fly through that, I'm gonna get my ass zapped. And believe it or not, I just heard the doorbell ring. Not knowing who the hell it is. Unless there's a delivery coming. So I guess I will just ignore it. Nah, I probably shouldn't. I shall pause temporarily, which will keep me from puking anyway. One moment when you see the screen change, I will be here again.
Man. Never like having to stop midstream. It was what I expected, which is someone going house to house. Although this happened to be a service we could use. So we may be setting up some lawn service soon or so, and some bug service soon. But, okay. Holy crap. Here we are. Back in a different reality where you don't have to worry about insects in the home or anything like that, right? No insects in VR. Unless they're purposely put there to scare the shit out of you in some of these. Thank you, and thank you for your patience, by the way. And for that vid the, um, the video you put together that I've referenced before, the video that helped um, clarify some of the Clone Wars new stuff. Okay, so I'm kind of orienting myself again. So that's active. I don't need to do anything with this. The energy is flowing. That didn't really do me any good because it looks like I get electrocuted. And that appears to... Let me make sure, but this looks like it's just a room with the fuel in it. Yes, okay, that's just the fuel, so I'll get that when I need it. Aight. Aight. Okay, except that I can't go through. I would assume. Right, that's how I came in in the first place, except now I can't go back through it. So I'm going to have to go through the electricity, I guess. Or something. I mean, it says, use... Oh, wait, but I've got that shield. I just don't know how to use it. Because, again, no instructions. Right, they don't tell you anything about which buttons use what. Well, that's, uh, is the options going to tell me how? Going to tell me anything about the controls? There we go, show bindings. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's what it didn't tell me before. Rockets is square, as I've learned. Boost is circle, as I've learned. X is interact. Shield is triangle, which is the only one left. Okay. Stop! So it says take... God dang. Holy balls. No, 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 no. What did I just screw up? No, arcade, not astronaut. Hell no. I desimplified the control method and almost made myself vomit immediately. And activate shield. I'm assuming I needed to activate the shield to get through here. With all the electricity. Oh, and it's off. Yeah, that must have been because it was timed exactly to the space. That's what we know as the, uh, the A hatch or the Winkler door. E. All right. Do I need to repair? I don't think I do, but let's find out. No repair needed. Cool. And let's open this hatch over here. Going to the exhaust pipe. Okay. You got your zero G. Got my exhaust pipe. Imminent. Burn, 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 burn. Oh shit. Um, okay. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go straight over there. Otherwise, why would it have shot me out this particular door? Hopefully. Hopefully I can take that for granted. Not entirely sure what I just did. Power relay? No. Do I have a list of objectives? Well, I have objectives, I just don't know what they are. So I just came from he no. Here. Okay, and that's what I just got fired out of. Okay. 
So maybe are these not locked anymore? Is that what this one was? No, that was... This one that had every... No. Shit. Yeah, it was this one that had everything locked. Over here. Ah, it's open now. Assuming this is the place that I just tried to go that was locked, it is now open. <laughs> emergency bay open, which is the next, yeah. This is emergency bay. Also known as the eBay. Emergency Bay. Status update. Pod launcher offline. I'll try to do the pod launcher here then. Charging pod launcher. Turn on second generator for full charge. Uh. Is it up this way, maybe? I'm assuming. Uh... Oh, shit! Ah! Shit! Module. Oh shit, shit, shit! Come on, come on, come on! Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! Stop! That's the other one? Launcher charged. Status update. Emergency bay. Pod launcher online. Okay. Holy balls. Alright, gotta close I'm my eyes. Alright, I think I lost him. I'm on my way to the rendezvous point. These pirates may be back any minute. So get to the escape pod or you're gonna miss the boat. Alright, echo out. Okay, now I know that there's a multiplayer component to this game. The fact that I've done all these little objectives makes me wonder how close I am to ending this primary game primary single player mode and again not really feel i mean there are times when i'm feeling the motion sickness from the rotating but either i am much more tolerant to it than i thought i was or their comfort measures once you actually get used to playing the game are significant enough to really kind of eliminate at least some of that for the typical player if i think of myself as a typical player which i tend to think Reset location. Bling. Ooh. Uh, collision course. Bad what? News, mate. Pirates must have hacked into my navigation. Ah oh, shit. Slow down. Seems Big Zoe is gonna have an ugly day with those rocks up ahead. Damn it. It's not a joke, mate. Get ready for impact. Ah, shit. I can't control anything. Eject. 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 I just ejected myself. Ah! Oh, mother... F Eject. 
Eject. Oh. So what, zero G super fast, you can't barely control a damn thing mode? That's lovely. I can't stop! I can't stop, I can't fully turn. All I can do is move at full fucking speed straight towards the walls. Or inside the hole toward another wall. So eject. Okay, can I turn? Can I turn this way? Can I turn this way and activate my boost thingy? Nope, I just rammed my ass into it. And your super booster thingy doesn't work, of course. So you can't super boost away from it. Yeah, definitely more realistic, but the hell do they expect you to do? Use shield to protect from damage. Oh! Use shield to, to protect from damage. You can take one hit, and then you bounce like a pinball. So then the next time you hit a wall, having bounced as a pinball, you're going to die. Use shield to protect from damage. God damn it! What I do? Hit my foot? I looked like I was in good shape. At least I thought I was. Eject. Eject. Trying to slow down is completely pointless. Use shield to protect from damage. Oh my god! You go for the power regulator on the north tower! Oh! Was that it? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I fly into the Death Star superstructure? I got a silver! Well, you'd think that it wouldn't be that I hurt my toe and I died. It'd be more like I hurt my toe and that caused me to flip and flip and flip and then die. Environment. Hanger. Status update. Power offline. Oh. Okay. So now I'm aboard the ship. Again, in space. No one can hear you say f-bombs over and over again. What is this? Does this let me do nothing? Is this something to do or is this just a... Is just a... Okay. It's Pac-Man's cousin. That's locked. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> I got it, but that sucked. <laughs> the feeling of uncontrolled momentum is definitely real, though. I mean... If that's what they're trying to give you the sense of, of, oh god, free fall momentum! Yep. Okay, it looks like that's not a doorway, so. Oh, now I can stop. How did I run out of momentum a moment ago? You pass through the checkpoint, and the checkpoint takes all your momentum so you don't crash headfirst into all those crates and die again. Everything else on the way in, you tap it, you die. But no, you, you wind up going full speed into a room full of friggin' crates, and somehow you're not dead. What the actual f- Okay. Aw, oh, man. I can add one. That's not going to be enough. I've got to find more. I have no idea. I'll put it this way. Minus the few minutes a second ago that I had to step away because the doorbell rang. Whatever time you're seeing elapsed on the stream is the time I've played the game. Because I didn't start until I started the stream. Okay. 
Okay. Caution, caution, caution. And again, I don't think I can interact with it. Let's get really close. Cannot interact with that. Whoa. This door isn't going to open for me. I'm assuming. Yep, it just says locked. And I just already took that over there. He's going to be bumping into a wall. seem like it's going to do me any good to be in here. And stop. Let's reorient. Another one of these sides of stuff. Aha! There's another... There's another Nard! Wolfman's got Nards, oh, there we go. And stop and turn back around. Go back. Go back, go back, go back. Bonk. At least it does do the whole you do bounce like a pinball thing, as much as it sucks whenever you're trying to do that part a second ago. It feels realistic. All right, time to literally close my eyes and rotate so that I don't vomit everywhere. And stop. Turn. This is where I plugged in the other one, so this is where I'll plug in this one. Really? And I can't take him back and try on the other one. So, okay, so I gotta find two more somewhere. Okie day. So, maybe go back through that cargo room? I mean, it's not like there's anywhere else I haven't explored in this little area here. Back into the cargo bay? Ha! Another one over here. Okay. It's still giving me that, which I think is an indicator that there's something to get. Yep, there it is. There's the other one. Warning: enemy drone detected. I'm sorry. Warning. Fucking what? Enemy drone? What? Now, this game is supposed to have a, um, like I said, a multiplayer component, which I believe has combat in this type of environment. And the, I'm assuming that, in, to some respect, this single-player mode is meant to get you used to it. So I guess it makes sense that there would be some kind of thing that can kill me. Where are you at? Oh, okay. Okay, well that should be everything. So let's stop and figure out where the hallway is with the thingies. Orient to them. And go. Again, if you just recently joined, if you look at that cr that cross right about here, that's telling you what direction you're going if you don't change your momentum. Oh, that is so Power annoying. online. Power Warning. on. Releasing safety clamp. Depressurization imminent. Engage safety lock to forfeit. I'm sorry, what? Oh, shit! Okay. Safety lock. 
Does that mean go up to that thing and flip a switch? Please tell me how it's not going to send me back ridiculously far. Scanning environment. Are Cargo you hanger. fucking kidding me? Power offline. I guess. I mean, I could. Missiles on what, though? Like, what was I supposed to be shooting? I mean, I guess, technically, it's not like I'm that far back, because much of my time was spent exploring and figuring out where the heck I was going. Warning. Enemy drone detected. Yeah, your mom is an enemy drone. All right. And at least now I know where I'm going, so I'm not wasting a bunch of, uh, fuel and oxygen. Oh, there's a reticle. You meant on the yellow circle? Yes, because what you definitely want to have on your spaceship is controls and devices that can only be activated by firing missiles into your environment. Because that makes sense if you're a, 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 a ship designer. Oh, that sound is annoying as shit. Online. All right. Releasing safety clamp. Depressurization imminent. Engage safety lock to forfeit. You're right. Yep. Ha ha! Good call. I would not have noticed that. At least not on that time. I might have noticed it otherwise. Ah! It's my shadow! I got a shadow! <laughs> Me and my shadow. I assume that's an enemy drone over there. Why, thank you. Is there a few? No? Why, screw you. Okay. <laughs> That's the last of Big Zoe, man. Power grid offline. Dropship shut in hangar. Damn it, mate. I'm stranded in Med Bay. Injured. I have the dropship launch codes with me. Echo out. So, Pace, you're saying you want me to go to Med Bay? Because you have the codes. Not, hey, be a pal and help me. No, it's, if you don't help me, you won't get the codes, so help me or die, asshole. I'm assuming it's over here, because, I mean, he says med bay as if it's in a, a part of a ship. It doesn't seem like there's much ship over there. Don't know what that is, though. What is that? Honestly, I should probably be wrapping up here in a little bit, because I've been playing this a lot longer than I intended to, um, to play today. Uh, nope. Okie day. Hmm.
not quite sure where I'm going again. It'd be nice if there was a, a objective, but objective marker between objective markers. I mean, like between as we were talking, me and Senator Comfort were talking about earlier. Yeah, exactly. If I had an objective marker, I would know where the hell Med Bay is. I would know which part of this massive bunch of crap the Med Bay is on. Instead, it's just, yeah, I'm in the Med Bay, bro. Unless the game actually uses the PlayStation VR's microphone for something other than streaming and is like, you're supposed to just say Marco a bunch. And then when you finally hear somebody call back Polo, you go that direction. The 3D sound is actually really good, so I mean, they could theoretically do such a thing someday. Marco. If you're trying to find your way to wherever the person is located, it's Marco Polo. If you're trying to find your way to Florida, it's Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Hey, at least I shot it. I got a trophy for shooting it. Notice these loading times are on PS4 Pro, so presumably a little bit worse on regular. Okay, well, hey, hey. So I can come out and get my oxygen again. Bonk. And I know that apparently wasn't the way to go, so presumably what? I'm going into harm's way over here? Blast the big cell, man. Power grid offline. Dropship shut in hangar. Damn it, mate. I'm stranded in Med Bay. Injured. I have the dropship launch codes with me. Echo out. You just happen to have the one thing I need to survive with you. Come on. Get close enough to shoot him. Come on. charge up for me to shoot him again? No. Okay. I must be, like, incapacitating rather than destroying. Is there a door up here? Is that that light that I'm seeing? Have I something with HDR pass through? If you're asking if I if I'm using the new PSVR with the new box um, so that I've got HDMI pass through or HDMI, so I've got HDR pass through for 4K, the answer is yes. Scanning environment bridge. Status update. Power grid offline. But yeah, I've got the HDMI pass, or the H, I keep saying HDMI, the HDR pass through on it. But, I mean, it's not that big of a thing, though, because, of course, PS, uh, PlayStation 4 doesn't do 4K discs, it only does 4K, um, gaming and streaming. So, I mean, all of my uh, Ultra HD Blu-rays, my UHD films, I watch on our Xbox One S. Not X. We didn't spend that kind of money. Um, 
but our Xbox One S. So it doesn't really make that much difference, except for gaming when there's HDR available. But you can't do it for... I mean, PSVR itself doesn't do um, HDR. It defaults to turning it off when you turn on the... There we... No, no. Oxygen. Somewhere over the rainbow, there's a friggin' battery thing. I know there's oxygen there, but I don't really need it right this second. Oh, uh huh. So somewhere out here, there is another power thingy. I completely missed that. I saw I have old something sucks with... Oh, uh, are you saying you have the old... Uh, I'm having to extrapolate because of how quickly it fades and how little it allows you to actually see. Um, saying that you got the old PSVR headset, so you have the old thing without the pass-through. Freaking A. There's got to be another of those things here somewhere. Yeah, we um we wound up in kind of a weird position because um yep. um as much as I'm into the VR stuff, I really wanted the new one uh after I already had the old one and it but it got to a point where it just so happened that based on when it was coming out, I was just getting paid for having a bunch of extra students beyond my regular student load, so we were able to afford it um but right around that time was when the, uh, what is that? Is that the one I already took something from? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, no, there is one. Okay. Um, yeah, right around that time was when my, uh, uh, original PS4 Pro died on me. Um, it just stopped reading the disk drive entirely. So, I don't remember where I was going to. I mean, I know where I'm going, but I don't remember where it is on this giant piece of metal. Um, so as a result, we wound up, um, oh shit, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where the hell is he? Oh, right there. Fuck. Um... As a result, though, we had to send that one off to get repaired, and it didn't look like it was perhaps going to be able to be fixed under warranty. We thought it could, but it was iffy. So I wound up using some of that extra pay to get the new headset, but also used some of it to get uh, a replacement Pro. And then it turned out they were like, oh yeah, actually we can fix it under warranty. Our bad. So we wound up with two Pros and two PSVR headsets. The PSVR headsets... Um, by design, the pros by accident, because the one was able to be fixed, and instead of just selling them off, we decided, well, what we'll do is we'll just set up one set in our, with the older stuff and the refurbished PS4, we'll just set up in the, um, the bedroom, or sorry, in the living room, and the bedroom where I usually stream and play, we'll just hook up the newer one. And it's worked fairly well. I think it's going to be a, a better setup once our son is born and gets to the point where he's uh he starts gaming himself because then um he'll be able to do it in there and we'll be able to do it in our bedroom and we can have different game libraries set up on each one and stuff like that I'm trying to remember where i found the other thingies i really don't remember I think one was in here, though. Can 
Shit. Oh, no, that's not what that is. Okay, that's just telling me that my booster is out of power. There we go. There's one. There's one. There's one. Stop, 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 I gotta figure out where the other one is still. But there's at least one of them. Then there's the oxygen. And didn't I find the other one before I saw the oxygen? It was over here somewhere? Maybe? Possibly? Okay. Yep, right there. Whoa, barf! Yeah, because it was when I was on the way to the bridge in the first place. Yep. And now I can plug them both in. Sweet. Scanning environment. Bridge. Status update. Power grid offline. Align antennas to connect power grid. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Align antennas. Oh, okay. Well, at least that's something I can do that, uh... It gives me an objective marker for. Stop! That's true, yeah. Cade could be like, I love it. But see, if he's a little kid, Season 2 of Ewoks would be awesome. Because season two Aw oh, shit. Not enough nans. Stop talking about my nads. Crap. Is this the one that I bumped a second ago, or is this gonna give me a new one? That's ah, probably gonna be the one that I bumped. Oh no wait, it is a new one. Nope, it's not. Where is he? I hear something. Except it's limiting my view too much. Shit, where did it go? God damn it. I don't know where that one went, because it was just telling me... Like, I couldn't grab it. It still said Neural Nand or whatever, but then it told me I couldn't grab it when I passed it. Great. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing now. I'm assuming they both need, yeah, they both need one. And I was facing this way, I thought, when I saw that one. Which I must have, like, knocked off into oblivion or something. Okay, so maybe up here? I thought about that a second ago, but I'm thinking that probably not. I could try it if, if I can't find one up here, though. Like, I wouldn't imagine they would allow that, but it's possible. It would explain why they're zapped and disabled instead of zapped and destroyed. Alright, so there's this whole big superstructure up here. But I do not see yet anything useful in it. There's something over here. Maybe down below. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back down. Down, 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 down.
Low yeah. fuel. Ah, oh, shit. I should have gotten fuel before I left. Crap. Low oxygen. Crap. Well, that's fine, I suppose. They'll start me back at the checkpoint, I guess. No fuel. Uh-oh. No oxygen. And I'm dead. Because <gasps> I thought some of those big bright stars out there were actually things to go to. Uh. Oh, it's using my O2 as my fuel. That's interesting. Yeah, okay then. This may be where I stop, just because, yeah, I've been going for quite a while. I don't even know how much time's been going because I can't see elapsed time when I'm in VR. Like I can normally. For real? Yeah, this is where I'll stop because going that far back, that's some bullshit. At least until I know exactly where I need to go so I'm not wasting fuel. Yeah. Two hours is about what I usually end up with when I was playing Battlefront anyway. Okay. So, again, that was um, detached. Um, a lot less disorienting and a lot less motion sickness than I expected. Uh, for a game that puts the warning on there that has that potential, especially given the fact that you have the rotation control, pitch and yaw and everything... Um, and it does play as if you're essentially in free fall using your little bit of thrusters and stuff to build momentum and whatnot. Um, it wasn't nearly as disorienting as I expected it to be, though if someone is very sensitive to motion sickness, I certainly would expect them to get motion sick, or not motion sick, sim sick, the opposite, simulation sickness. Um, although everybody calls it motion sickness, even though it's not. Um, definitely one to check out. Um, definitely a somewhat unique experience here, sort of puzzle solving in space. There is the multiplayer aspect of it where you're uh, playing... Uh, against other players. Um, I try to focus on the single player in this case, um, which is getting me used to it and whatnot. Uh, multiplayer might have a little bit of an issue when I'm streaming at the same time. Um, but it's certainly an interesting one. Um, I think this is one that could definitely stand uh, to have a demo to be played because I think that's going to be what may make the difference. Remember, I was on the fence, as I said earlier, I was right on the fence of whether or not this would be something I would want to try, because I love space, and I love the idea of, of the, the free-floating, free-fall type of thing, and being able to experience that in VR, but I do tend to get simsick on certain games, like when I originally was trying to play Rigs, Mechanized Combat League, and things like that. Um, thankfully, it didn't make me nearly as a as disoriented as I thought I was going to be. Um, so definitely one to perhaps check out if you don't get very sim sick or you're sort of moderately sim sick at most times, like me at most, um, then uh, probably one to check out. Again, it's on the PlayStation Network store at this point. Um, it is uh, 25 bucks. The multiplayer is cross-platform. I believe with both Rift and Vive, so it is cross-platform multiplayer. Um, we've just been doing the single player here. Uh, again, it is detached. Uh, thank you um, to the developers, to the folks behind the game, uh, and their PR department for the uh, review copy code. I really appreciate it. Um, I definitely think that this is one that I would have wound up purchasing somewhere along the line, given the opportunity to try it out first. Um, and get a sense of how it was going to affect me. That's the one big downside about sim sickness in VR, that someone warning you of it isn't necessarily going to mean you're going to be affected. You may or you may be completely fine. You really kind of have to try out um, any given mode before you really know for sure whether you're going to feel particularly ill or not. Um, but thank you guys uh, for the comments, the questions and stuff as watching. And I'll do more PlayStation VR Let's Plays in the near future. Um, I've got a couple that I just need to show at some point that I haven't even really touched on, uh, like the Voltron VR thing. Um, so more PlayStation VR Let's Plays sometime in the near future. I'm um, just not sure when, but thank you for watching. This has been, again, Detached, using a review copy. Uh, thanks to the company, 25 bucks on PlayStation Store. If you want to check out another recent release, The Persistence, a $30 game on PlayStation Network Store, I did do a Let's Play of that immediately before this one. Thanks.